want to kind of have it broke up so that it won't have to fight to get down in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your plant, kind of smash that a little bit right there so that it comes away from that. Uh, we just started off beginning of the year and uh, applied some of our science stuff uh, to this and the kids kind of enjoyed uh, being out here. Of course they want to be out of the classroom as much as possible so hands-on is a, a good way to learn. Cherokee Nation just kept uh, giving us grant money and things to help put things together. They funded, we've got all kinds of tools in our shed over here. They, they paid for the shed also and they bought us a, another greenhouse. We've got uh, celebrity tomatoes planted. We planted some uh, jalapeno peppers. We put t uh, potatoes out for the first time this year and the cabbage is doing really well looks like. Last year we had the idea to put some strawberries in and we already had some fencing I believe that uh, Cherokee Nation paid for I think also and uh, so we fenced it off down here we tilled it up real good and, and we picked up tons of rocks of course and we bagged them to help uh, put down because we planted two different ways. Uh, we put strawberries in with plastic underneath to help stimulate the growth of the strawberries which it has they've uh, budded out a lot quicker than the other plants and then we had so many uh, strawberry plants left over that we went ahead and planted those in the ground and planted the runners on those so the kids get to see two different styles of strawberry plants like I told them last year you put the work in now and you'll get the fruit of it later on it's a privilege to just to come out here and see this stuff grow because most school, schools don't get to do this I'm very excited to eat the strawberries well, we learned about how much like water they need, like how far, how far apart they need to be uh, planted, and uh, like what kind of type the strawberry they are, how much sun they need, something like most of that stuff. It was fun. Uh, I learned a lot while I was uh, while I was doing it. So, I mean, that's great. We had two seeds, and then we had big old, big old mounds. Oh, we put mounds. So we need some mounds on here. What I want them to see is that when they. When they think about food, they think of just going to Walmart. And I want them to know that there's a farmer out there on the other side of that somewhere that has planted, put the time in, and grown, and sent that stuff to Walmart. You know, I always tell them there's not any Walmart workers back there farming this stuff or milking cows or anything. There's a farmer on the other side of that. And, you know, you never know what you're going to do in life. You may be a farmer, you may not, but you have an idea of where it comes from. They really enjoy it, just being out here and, and getting their hands dirty. But there's some that will and they really enjoy it. There's some that have helped at home, but there's a lot of them that have never grown anything in the garden. I learned how to plant and grow strawberries. I learned how much water it takes to make them grow. When I get older, I was planning on building, making me my own garden. I think it's fun and it's a good, uh, it's a good learning experience for uh, just if I wanted to like, plant stuff and have a garden one day. It's a good learning experience. In the fall, what we usually plant is cucumbers and uh, zucchini or squash again. They learn canning, they learn uh, baking, uh, which in all those things, we've got chemical reactions, which all ties back into our science, the growing of the plants, the canning and everything. It just, it just all kind of goes together. So they see it hands on.